just turned 40 and I have to admit I was a little nervous of the pain and even though everyone has different pain tolerances I can tell you that I was surprised at how doable it was. I went to the Swedish Breast Imaging Center on First Hill. There was some discomfort but it only lasts about five seconds and really you can endure just about anything for five seconds. Ultimately you have to go with the idea that you and the mammographer are a team. They don't want you to have pain and the equipment is way better than it was 30 years ago so you just have to communicate with them through the entire process. Very compassionate, you know, and that's what we want. We want people to come back. We don't just want to have a one and done. We'd rather have them come back and get routine screening. Also, we should point out Swedish has mobile uh, mammography units to reach people in their community. And as we said, foreign born women get mam mammograms less often because of cultural stigmas or because of maybe lack of education on the matter. And here, you can see the unit is in the Chinatown International District, but Swedish has two units that go all over from businesses to tribal land. So, um, you know, it's interesting because the mobile mammogram units are important. We saw last year, Swedish saw like 6,500 patients and found 36 cancers. Mm -hmm. So it is important. Wow. And, you know, there's still some debate on when you should start getting screened. Swedish says, talk to your doctor so that you're clear on that. And then ultimately, I'm glad I went because I discovered I have something and I got to get a biopsy next week. So. so your first mammogram and you find something already. <laughs> I know. That's kind of scary. It was scary yeah. and I was, you know, we just went to do the story and then I was like, oh dang. But, yeah. um, but you know what, I'm glad I went and mm -hmm. hopefully, fingers crossed, everything yeah. will come back. We've okay been doing a lot of mammogram see. stories because it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month and one of the things I think it's important that I learned is that a lot of people think yeah. that if they don't have a family history of breast cancer, they can hold off on the mammograms. Right. I learned that a majority of people, in fact, I think it's 80 some percent of people who get breast cancer have no family history. Correct. Exactly. Which exactly. is why you should start getting mammograms. And this yeah. is a good thought real quick. And I just want to make it real quick. My sister, who was born and raised in Korea, I was mm -hmm. born in Korea, but I was raised here. She was like, well, we don't have any family history. And I told her, I said, you got to get your mammogram. Yeah. Like, you know, so. that's a misconception with yeah. a lot of people. Yeah, right. Absolutely.